John Langford, I play with the Mekons, and uh, tonight I was playing my customised Fender Stratocaster, which is uh, my, my mate Anden, who works at, uh, what are they called, Bob Egan's old place, it used to be called Bob's Guitar Shop, I think it's called North, Co North Coast or something. Third Coast? Third Coast, maybe that's it, do you know that? Yeah, Third Coast, God. Anden's a genius, and he like, uh, he asked me all these questions about the guitar and said, you know, I had this, I'd never had a Fender Stratocaster before and I got this really great one at the Old Town School shop at the different strummer. Somebody left it there on consignment and it was quite old, but no one had ever, obviously ever really played it or toured with it. It was, it was in pristine condition, but we, we ripped all the guts out of it and put a Seymour Duncan, some crazy Seymour Duncan pickup that had been like baked in clay and buried underground somewhere, you know, to make it look cool, but Andon told me it sounded really good, so I put that in and we just, you know, he said, what, do you use all the pickups? I said, no, I only use one pickup, and I need a humbugger. He says, do you use the tone control? I'm like, no, I never use the tone control. I only just want it to be, like, loud and dirty. And he said, do you use the volume control? I thought, oh, sometimes I sort of go, mm -hmm. you know, so we just kept the volume control and then one really great humbugger. Seymour Duncan pick up and uh, put a new, it's a, it's a kind of cool kind of grey green colour so we put like this red tortoise shell scratch plate on it and it looks really, it looks really weird, people, people really like it, probably like from the 90s sometime but it's a US Strat, you know, it's very, very, very dependable and I'd used Squires before which are great and I used Talk Eyes when I lived in England which were great as well. But the talk guys, you don't see them in the US that much. No, I had a talk guy, which was fantastic. I mean, I've, I've lost so many guitars and destroyed so many guitars over the years, it's kind of frightening. But That's what happens when you've done it. Yeah, I've never I'm like done the Pete Townsend where I just stand and smash them up on stage, but I've you know, tended to leave them by the stage door and someone's run off with them, or leave them leaning against the back of the car, then drive off, and they're not there when I get back. And a few have just been irreparably damaged by my playing. So, yes, I guess I'm just a Fender dude. I really only ever felt comfortable. I mean, I wasn't really a guitarist. I started off as a as a drummer, but um, as soon as I started playing guitar, we had a Firebird for a while, a Gibson Firebird, in the Mekons that we all used to pass around and play. It was beautiful, but it wasn't it didn't feel right for me. I don't know. It's like I also because I'm a drummer. I need something I can really attack. And even a telly feels kind of light, a little bit insubstantial. There's something about the Stratocaster, I don't know why it's just the, the shape of it, or I use very heavy strings. I use like 11 tops and 52 bottoms. And, you yeah, know. Telecaster, you feel like you should be playing with George Jones or something. Exactly, yeah. And the, the Strat is just like, I don't know, you can really attack it. I just always like the Strat. I don't know, and it's got like that. It's, it's, it's not a wimpy sound. I don't really know how to do anything other than to make loud noises. So.